Good morning, my friends, and welcome to my shave den bathroom. Where we're going to share another shave today, and today we are using Septon Officio Benicino's 70th anniversary. This is a favorite of mine, and I don't use it very much because I've only got the one. I probably should buy another one, but I dropped it, and it's got a wicked dent here. So I'm going to have to figure out how to fix that. But that's another story for another day. We're using my Sarantino, uh, one of his very early brushes. I call it R2D2, and I'm not really don't remembering why because it's been a while. But uh, it's got a uh, the 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 uh, knot came from Maggard's. I'm not sure exactly what model it was, but it stuck in there pretty good. And of course, we're going to follow up with the 70th aftershave. The razor for today is, well, not hard to guess. We're going to use the vector today. This is Friday. It's date night. Um, I don't want to put a whole lot of time into shaving, so I'm going to uh, just do a quick couple passes with the, with the vector. My face is already dried up. I was kind of rushing because I had done my hot towel and uh, thought I could get through everything to, uh, and then get right to business there, putting on the uh, lather. But my face dried out because this towel was too hot. Now it's just kind of, well, it's it's warmish. Um, well, warmer than, warmer than like lukewarm, but it's just tepid. Tepid's a good word. Hey, anyway, how you guys doing out there? I'm glad to still be vertical and taking room temperature, or taking nourishment in the lower room temperature. I'm a little bit addled because I. Uh, I had stopped taking a uh, medication called Effexor, an antidepressant, anti-anxiety medicine. And I've been trying to wean off it for a long time and I was starting to get impatient. So I said, well, screw it. I'm just gonna close the doors and I'm just gonna stop taking it. Well, that ended disastrously. I had a doctor's appointment and he says, no, don't do it that way, you big dummy. Uh, they start, they'd already cut the doses way back. I'm at a quarter of the doses that I've been taking before, but the problem with effects are, is if, you, if you're even just like hours late as far as taking, taking it and your brain decides it wants, still wants to have effects are in there, I started getting like electrical zaps going through my brain and my face would go numb, and uh, I'd get a little bit addled, kind of like you're experiencing with me now. And then if I get, if I'm tired, and it may not be related, uh, but I'm starting to experience some essential tremor which is a warning sign very early of Parkinson's disease, which is runs in my family. My father died of it and my grandmother died of it, which puts me in a rather a little bit worried about it, but not to the point where I'm gonna say anything to the doctor about it until it starts to get bad. And it just so happens that it's uh, the uh, topic of my web channel. You guys look for it. I'm I'm not here to uh, hawk for my other channel. So, but if you look for your favorite boomer.com or if you happen to go to that. URL, your favorite boomer.com. It'll take you straight to my YouTube channel. I've only made four videos, so it's, I mean, it's way tiny and brand new. So I don't think, 
there's anything in there right now that's of any earth shattering coolness. Uh, mostly just introducing myself and uh, getting things started and learning how to work the software. That's probably the most important part of my what I'm doing at, at this stage in that web page. These videos, I'm put, is, they're done in one take. I'm filming it with my with my iPhone up here on the on the glass in the in the window or on my mirror, and uh, I uh, do this all in one take. Unless there's a significant disaster, but Safety Cat's been here. She's checked the area out. It's safe. And then uh, I put a a uh, pre uh, prequel or a pre pre log or entry uh, put the uh, beginning part of the video, put an ending on it, and throw it up. There's no editing, so what you get is real deal. There's nothing up my sleeves, and. Uh, This is just me shaving and prattling on about life being an old guy. Well, not necessarily life being an old guy. I am an old guy, but I don't feel old. Sometimes I feel old when I'm trying to go upstairs or I forget words and dumb stuff like that, but as my doctor says, you reach a certain age and that kind of stuff starts happening. That's irritating when they say that. I don't know, you young guys in the under under 50 crew uh, probably don't get that, but after 60, I get it all the time. And it's irritating. And I told my doctor I don't like that. Stop. Stop saying that. If you're teasing me. And so, kind of, I told it, we made a deal that, that he would stop saying at about your age, and I would stop calling, referring to my uh, diabetes as the sugar. Because he knew I was doing that just to rattled his chains a little bit. And I think he was calling me an old guy because he's actually younger than my son. Nice guy though. And he is actually actively ha helping me pare down the amount of drugs I'm taking. So I think that's kind of a neat thing. And I'm glad and I feel kind of lucky to have gotten in to his practice fairly early in his career. He just got done and just got started doing uh, practice, practice. So I feel lucky to have gotten in on him. Had a pretty good game call last night on the Zoom. We didn't play the games, but we got a chance to watch, look at Chad and Chad's little daughter, four days old. Isn't that weird? Well, it's not weird, but in my day, at four days old. See, this is me being a boomer again. Back in the day when my son was born, uh, now he was early, so he spent four weeks in the hospital before we were allowed to take him home. But that was because he was six weeks early. Now, four days, that's, that's pretty darn quick. She gets her looks from her mother. 
<laughs> I think she's going to be tall like Chad. And I hope she gets her disposition and everything else from his from her mother. I don't want to add too many names here because yeah, people start stalking and stuff. Chad, he's a public figure. Oh, this was uh, Thayer's Lemon, who don't love us because they won't they won't recognize us. But I still have over half of a bottle left in there. Now this is my second bottle. I've actually gone through, act, not really, I didn't go through. This is my second bottle of 70th. My first bottle developed a, uh, well this one is actually starting to do it too a little bit. Developed a, uh, the, it got cloudy and then all of a sudden, it, something in the middle, there, it just turned into a solid uh, hunk of whatever the, chemical goodness is I'm shaking it up again a lot because it was starting to separate so I'll shake it up real good I'm only at 11 minutes so you guys are lucky this was a quick shave got a beautiful beautiful scent I don't know what it is but I like the way it smells so it's a, that's pretty much what landed at the top of the stack as far as ones that I enjoy using and I don't use it as much as I should because I don't want to run out. Okay, that'll do it for today. Oh, one more thing. Attack of the talc cans. Here. It'll cut the glare off here so I'm not blinding you guys from the overhead lights glaring into the camera, which happens at people of my age. Uh, I am Major Rich, and you will find me at theshavingcadre.com. If you're finding me on the YouTube, uh, that's great. I'd uh, appreciate any touches. I. I think it's going to be over here, but it might be over here. I've been experimenting with uh, adding just a little button so you could touch it and subscribe. I don't know where it landed. I put it on there last night and haven't tested it yet. So if it's there, you know, do me a favor and, and you made it this far, you know, click that there and let's see if it works. Uh, that said, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.